Well, hey guys, here we are uh, talking about the DJI Spark again. Uh, we are going to talk about calibrating your compass uh, for your Spark and why that is important. So we're going to be in the DJI GO 4 app and we're going to go ahead and start our flight. Now, the reason we're talking about this is actually because I had an issue just the other day where I had an accident, a flyaway, that I think was very likely due to the compass not being calibrated right. Uh, looking at the telemetry app, it thought it was pointing to the west when it was really pointing to the south, uh, physically pointing to the south. And the flight was wonky from the beginning and had a flyaway. So uh, I think if I had calibrated my compass, it would have been good to go. So this is uh, to show you how you can do that and to emphasize that this should be part of almost every pre-flight routine. And if you look at your telemetry, you look right here in the corner of your screen and you see that your bark is pointed somewhere that it's not physically pointed at, you definitely need to do a compass calibration. So it is important to prevent flyaways and to make sure you have good control of your device. And so I would recommend that you do it pretty much every single flight, um, at least double check. And if you notice that your uh, spark is drifting or whatever, when it should just be hovering flat, good time to do a compass calibration. We'll also talk about an IMU calibration in another video, uh, which could be useful as well. But for this one, compass calibration. All right, so we get there by going to, right up here, you press the, where it says ready to go GPS right now, and you click on that. And you will see in there, we have a calibrate button, okay? It says it's normal, but is it really? Does it does it really know when it's not? It's going to ask us, are you sure you really want to do this? And yes, we do. So we're going to say start. Okay. And then it is going to show us on the screen. It's going to show us what it wants us to do. So we're going to hold it here flat. And we are just going to twist it around like this. Okay. Now it says it wants to do it vertically. Okay. So now we're going to hold it up like this and we are going to twist it around like this until it says we are okay. Oh. Okay, compass calibration complete. Okay, that's all there is to it. You're done, right? 30 second procedure. We've been talking here for a couple minutes, but it's really 30 second procedure. Something you should do before every flight you do um, to just to make sure. Right, and like I said, if you haven't done it and you notice when you first take off, your quad, your spark is kind of floating around, it's kind of twisting, doing things that you don't expect it to do, land it, do a compass calibration. Uh, it'll save you some heartache. So look for the warning signs, do it as a preventative, and uh, you'll be good to go. Now, one important thing I forgot to mention is you really want to make sure that you're doing it kind of in an open area, right? You don't want to be right next to your car while you're doing it. You don't want to be right next to a big windmill uh, when you're doing it. You don't want to be next to a big antenna structure. Uh, get away from things. Don't do it over the top of a metal table, metal chair, or whatever. Make sure that you're doing it out in an open area, right? Out in the middle of your yard, out in a, uh, an open field, uh, where you're actually going to fly, fly, but away from any metal stuff because that'll affect your calibration so uh, just make sure you are uh, doing that you'll be good to go again safety first make sure and do a pre-flight check and uh, include this as one of your steps so that's uh that's all there is to it hope you uh, enjoyed that look for more how to's look for uh, more commentary and uh, much more spark footage uh, coming up we'll uh, see you guys in another video take care